Transition Tuesday. I'm Jane. This is Joe. Talking about vision boards today. So, lots of people use vision boards when they're trying to make a plan for the future. Transition planning is a plan for the future. Um, we're working on ours today. Joe and I talked a little bit before we started recording this uh, morning and we decided that we would go ahead and share with you what we're working on um, as part of Joe's um, ongoing class in youth advocacy training that he's taking through the Center for Youth Voice, Youth Choice the CYVYC, and I will post information about the resources that we refer to today. But um, Joe is um, one of a group of students who are working on their self-advocacy training skills. And our assignment for this week is to create a vision board. So, full disclosure, we had already started doing one um, as part of Joe's participation in Uniting for Change. And so you're thinking, man, people are really into vision boards. Well, they're a really great way of identifying future goals if you're not a list person. You know, it's kind of like a kinesthetic form of planning. So you talk about what your dreams are and then you create your vision board um, based on what your dreams are. I'm working on one for myself and mine is in the shape of a tree because I really love trees. So this is Joe's. Is it okay if I show everybody your vision board? Touch my hand if you're okay with that. Can we share your vision board? Thank you. So Joe's, there's a, a house and this is Joe. This is Joe is the center of his vision board. And we have the word community. Joe's working really hard to create a place for himself in his community as un see what I mean? As a nonverbal person with a disability. And some challenges that make it hard for Joe to access his community. So our main transition plan, our vision for the future is that Joe would be included and involved and maybe even perform in a leadership role in his community. Would you say so? Is that a fair statement? <coughs> Can you tell me with your voice? Do you want to be part of your community, involved, engaged, and maybe even a leader in your community? Use your voice or touch my hand. So, some of the things that we've added to this are we have, you know, little cute cutouts of people. I mean, it's a fun little project. It should be artistic, but you don't have to be an artist to make a vision board. You can cut pictures out of a magazine. Um, these are little dialogue boxes and uh, thought bubbles, and we have being included my story telling telling joe's story we have a little really badly drawn video camera with ttwjj which stands for transition tuesdays with jane and joe to be understood we have a uniting for change and we're going to get a logo for um cyvyc and then friendships friendships and we're going to work on this today. I've got some magazines and we're gonna go through, and I think we're gonna look for words and images. So Joe and I will go through and I'll point something out that I think might be a good, like for example, 
Joe, would you like the word Georgia to be on your vision board? Touch my hand or tell me with your voice. Should we put the word Georgia on your vision board? What do you think? Yes? Or no? So we're non-committed to that. So I'll go through and find pictures of things, maybe some Grateful Dead logos, or some music, or here's a map of Georgia. We could put that on our vision board. You know, yes, this is going to be a long process. That's why we started this and didn't finish it because it is a long process. But I think that it is an important process for Joe and I to do together with me being patient and accepting and let Joe make his choices. See, because he's 20. He's got to make his own choices. <coughs> but in this situation, making this vision board, I'm his communication partner. I'm still his mom, but I'm trying to be his communication partner. So no judgment, just questions. So this will probably take us a while, but I'm excited about the prospect of working on this with Joe. And if Joe's cool with it, we'll show you the finished project in a future episode. I will put some resources in my uh, blog on our website and, uh, and also maybe some comments in the Facebook uh, section. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us. If you want information on doing vision boards, it's all over Pinterest, real easy to find. And uh, we hope you have a great week. See you next time.